Hello there, all you beautiful thrill seekers. My name is Coach Shardonks to Born, but built for theme parks, and welcome to another big discussion video here on the Theme Park Newsroom playlist. This is all about Alton Towers, and this is about the Mutiny Bay area. Now, this was first the Merry England. It's gone through a previous life. We're going to talk about all the history of this area before we discuss. Uh, you know, potential options for what I'm going to talk about in this video. But basically, the latest development in this area was Wicker Man in 2018. Now, with Wicker Man in 2018, discussions have been arising in the theme park community. Why not retheme Mutiny Bay into a Wicker Man themed area for the f and bring in some Wicker Man theming for the family rides? And that is exactly what I'm going to discuss in this video. Today, we're going to be discussing what I could see for each ride and attraction in the Wicker Man re-theme area of Mutiny Bay. So before we get started with all of that, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell so you never miss another thrilling YouTube video. We are getting closer and closer to 2,100 subscribers and closer and closer every single day to half, um, well, over half a million views. And we're also on the road to 1 million views, which is unbelievable for a two-year-old channel. So please, please get viewing the old videos, keep subscribing, and keep watching out for the videos. Also, guys, make sure you go into the description down below where you can submit your video ideas. You can subscribe to Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, uh, Snapchat. You can also uh, join the Discord server. The link's in the description down below for that as well, so you can chat with other fans of the channel. And I might be in the voice chat from time to time. We do like to play some games of Among Us, so if you want to play some games of that, if you've got it, then join the Discord server. We'll use the voice chat. And um, you can also ask me some questions as well. I might, I'm thinking about maybe recording in the future like sometime next year maybe some um, one question goes um, on discord so if you want to be on the discord server and potentially be involved in the one question go uh, sort of video idea then please go and subscribe to the discord go follow the discord be on the discord server and let's get chatting with the fans also, guys, make sure you stay tuned because we've got our 2K sub Q&A video coming on Christmas Eve. If you want to still submit a question, use the hashtag question before or after your question. That deadline is 23.59pm on 23rd of December. And for now, guys, let's have a look exactly what's going on with the Mutiny Bay, Wickerman area and what we could see with this rethink. So before we take a look at the possible Wickerman themed options for the land of Bjornan, that's what I call it, uh, we have to look at the history of the area to get a hint of potential re-themes. Now, one of the oldest parts of Alton Towers Resort is the area where Mutiny Bay currently stands, according to Towers Times. This is all Towers Times information. Massive shout out to them. And it was originally part of the Alton Towers estate as the estate's stables and blacksmiths. So it's got an interesting part of history with the towers itself. Initially, the area was home to the Ingestry Centre and was home to the original Log Flume, at the time the longest in the world, alongside a selection of other rides and attractions, including the park's cable car system. Now, the first change to the area occurred back in 1984, where the area was renamed to Aqualand, and at the time it spanned an area compassing the current Katanga Canyon, Mutiny Bay, and parts of the current Tower Street. 1986 saw the new Grand Canyon Rapids, and part of the area was also converted to form Kiddies Kingdom, which is now Adventureland and part of CBeebies Land, and developed the Tower Street entrance. And one year later, the old cable car system was replaced with the Skyride and a new station built at the bottom of Tower Street. This created space for the teacups to be introduced along the swan boats on the Ingestry Lake. The next significant change was back in 1992 with the development of Katanga Canyon and Aqualand became a medieval themed area known as Merry England. In 2004, the swan boats left for the Splash Cart Challenge as well as the re-theme with the log flume into the flume unplugged, sponsored by Imperial Leather. The last major re-theme was in 2008 where Merry England became Mutiny Bay. All rides, with the exception of the flume, became a pirate re-theme with the Battle Galleons and Heave Ho coming in from scratch, as well as re-themes to the teacups uh, and also other buildings in the area. Now, of course, the most recent attraction to the area is Shark Bait Reef back in 2009 in the old 3D cinema site. This was a brand new Sea Life Aquarium. Now, significant developments were underway back in 2016 when the flume closed ahead of Secret Weapon 8 opening in 2018. This was known as Wicker Man. Now, the courtyard, which had shows like The Curse of Red Skull, uh, Kidnapper Victoria Sponge, great Mutiny Bay shows, 
didn't produce shows anymore. There were plans for the Smokehouse Restaurant, however, those have been shelved. And of course, this was now turned into the Welcoming Bee Chosen in 2017, uh, which was a scare maze in the courtyard. Then it became known as Darkest Depths. Uh, just as early as 2019 and then for 2020 Scarefest that Darkest Depths moved uh, over to uh, where Zombie Scare Zone used to be. So this um, courtyard is only used for Christmas at the minute um, apart from obviously during the season where you can sit in and stuff like that. So um, unfortunately though uh, you know, in terms of anything show-wise or permanent show-wise or permanent attraction-wise, the courtyard hasn't been used. However, I think I've got big plans to change all of that. So on your screen right about now, after speaking all about the history of the current Mutiny Bay area, that, my friends, is circling all of the areas of development. Now, you're probably thinking, why is Wicker Man not circled? Well, it's been there, you know, a couple of years now, so it's not going to change anytime soon. It's still going to be there. We all know that. So I'm just focusing on main areas for development. The Courtyard, Marauder's Mayhem, Heave Ho, uh, the restaurants with the Eastern Express, and also the Sharp Bait Reef and the Battle Galleons. So this is the main areas of re-theme, uh, as well as a potential new attraction. And I spoke about this as a potential dart ride site, and you'll, you'll know more uh, in a little bit. Uh, but first, let's start off at the bottom of the area, so you can see Battle Galleons at the bottom. So, what would I do with this? Well, I would rip out the whole ride system and I would extend it right across the rest of the lake. I would use the entire lake for, a, for an extended splash battle and I would theme it um, to this land of Bjornan. I would have it as the Battle of Wicker Valley. Now, you're probably thinking, why name it the Battle of Wicker Valley? Well, I would name it the Battle of Wicker Valley because I would give it the whole storyline of the Bjornan fighting against the water gods that are trying to soak and ruin the fire-led scenario of the Wicker Ritual. So this would be my story for an extended version of the Battle Galleon system. I keep the sort of rock work queue line uh, with the bridge and everything because it's sort of like you're entering the bridge, you're going over the bridge uh, to battle in Wicker Valley. And, you know, there's a real sense of, you know, theming and detail with this. And you look at what Merlin Magic, Make Magic Making's done in the past with the Alton Towers dungeon theming. And, you know, with the Gangster Grand of the Rye when we saw the sneak peeks of that new attraction for next year. You know, they do some incredible work with the theming. And I think working with different people is going to be amazing for this park. So, I think the Battle of Wicker Valley is a real potential development for this Battle Galleons area. Next up, Heave Ho. Now, this is the Zampella Rocking Tug attraction, and I reckon that this could be used um, in terms of a Wicker Way. Now, by the term Wicker Way, we mean with the Wicker Man theming. Now, the Heave Ho, um, in my opinion, will stay. I think if there was going to be a Wicker Man themed area, I think it would stay. And I reckon they could use it as a potential option um to sort of theme it to wicker woods and sort of traveling and sort of theme it to to carrying and um you know porting the wicker wood to the ritual site now uh whether this means um it's themed to like a, a wicker travel guide or something like that i i, I mean there's there's potential there i think there's potential there to theme it as like a a, a way of um traveling the wicker wood over to the ritual site and i think that in terms of naming the attraction in terms of using that particular theme i think you guys can do a better job than i can with this one but um i reckon there's still a big chance and i think that's the big story i go with the heave ho refurbishment i think they go with the theme of transporting wood to the rich to the site of the ritual so i think they could do that with with heave ho next up marauders mayhem very very clear what i want to do here um, I would like it to be themed as in you're sat in a wicker barrel and you're being trans and again you're being transported to the site of the ritual you're being spun around uh, ready to be set on fire for the ritual to begin uh, so again this is another transportation theme with the wicker barrels like it was with the wicker wood of heave ho so like with heave ho you're sat in like uh, um, some wicker wood some special uh, wicker themed wood um, with the with the the Wicker Man logo as like a, a sign of the ritual, like a tattoo of the wood on the ritual. Uh, with this one, you'd be sat in like a wicker barrel, and you're getting transported, ready to be burned for the ritual, uh, and get out of the barrel before they get burned for the ritual to begin. So <laughs> make sure you're not in the barrel, kind of theme. So I think again, they could do something like that, uh, make it a bit more family related, maybe if they can. Uh, but I think again, it would be an interesting proposal. 
Um, now, the restaurant's located in the purple circle uh, with the Eastern Express. Now, I reckon... Now, again, th this could... I'm going to call these wicker stalls. I'm going to call these wicker stalls because I'd like to see some wicker food and some wicker shopping. Uh, now, again, this is a potential development. And, again, I think that this would be a great idea. Shop Bait Reef. Now, this is an interesting one. I reckon they could do something really clever with this one. I reckon they could, in terms of naming, I'm not too sure. I think the name will end by Sea Life. I think that won't change. But I would like to see the story of this particular attraction come to life. I'd like to see a story behind an aquarium. Now, with this one, I'd like to see the story be the fact that the Bjornan, the people of the Bjornan tribe, are collecting the sea life and leaving it to display to give to give people of the ritual a break from the ritual and just you know because the and give this whole storyline of the fact that the wicker man believed in the natural world of nature whether on dry land or water or snow or anywhere so i think the story behind this is a great potential opportunity for creativity at its finest the wicker man loves nature the wicker man loves sea life and he wants to put them on display as a natural breakaway from the usual ritual duties. So I think they could theme this to like uh, a sort of escapism for the Bjornan tribe and visitors of the ritual to experience the wildlife the Wicker Man holds dear to his uh, fire-burnt heart. Now again, big storyline idea. Not sure if it would come off or not. Not sure if it would come clear or not. But I think you guys will be the judge of that in the comments down below. Finally, the courtyard. This is where the biggest development will take place. Now, I reckon we're going to see um, the whole courtyard ripped out. And you've seen the Dark Ride video, so you know what I'm going to say. I'd like to see a brand new Dark Ride in this building. Now, whether this be uh, a story behind the Wicker Man ritual, like the prequel. Because like the Wicker Man's based on the ritual. What about the prequel, the story of how the Bjornan came here? Kind of like what Nemesis Subterra did for Nemesis. Like a prequel story to the Wicker Man. Kind of like what the Welcoming Be Chosen kind of did, where it teased Secret Weapon 8 the following year. So, I think they could do that with this. And I think that a Dark Ride would be the best way for it. What type of Dark Ride? To be honest with you, I'm not too sure. I did mention specific Dark Ride types in that discussion video uh, in the past or, rec or in recent times uh, where I discussed about the next Dark Ride for Alton Towers so please go and watch that video if you haven't already I would really recommend you go and watch that because it's a very important video to watch uh, but I reckon uh, that that video is probably the best way to find out what types of Dark Ride you could see in the courtyard building but I think either way that is my thoughts on all of that so there we go, Land of the Bjornan, um, at, at Alton Towers, that's my Land of the Bjornan, so no real new, well, one new attraction with a brand new dark ride in the courtyard building. Uh, take out the old sort of dining stalls outside the courtyard as well, you could really put a roof on the courtyard, revitalise it, and, you know, just really make this into an incredible dark ride. Now, obviously... Uh, the rest of the attractions would all be rethemed along to fit with the Wicker Man. And I think there'd be a lot more theming around. I think some of the like the buildings, uh, well, like the little hut buildings and the, the little pirate theming here and there would be replaced with Wicker theming to make this a proper ritual site. Like the whole area would be themed around the Wicker Man's ritual site. And there's different aspects of it, like the Heave Ho being themed around transporting the wood to the ritual site. The Marauder's Mayhem being re-themed and retold as like you're sitting in the, the wicker themed barrels being transported for the ritual to begin. So two different types of transportation themes going off. Uh, the Wicker Man of course being the story. A dark ride in the courtyard building has been like the prequel story to how the Bjorn got here. Using different fire effects, uh, different sound effects, different lighting, different tech. You know, really good potential opportunity there. Especially when you look at what they're doing with Gangster Granny for next year. You look at the amount of detail when we looked at the sneak peek, peek uh, pictures. Um, and you look at the amount of detail that went in there. Again, massive opportunity to, to, to really utilise that. Um, now, of course, in around the rest of the area, again, like I said, loads of big opportunities here. The Shark Bait Reef being like, you know, an escapism because the Wicker Man loved to see life and Mother Nature. And he wanted it to take its course, kind of like the ritual to take its course. You know, and the, the Shark Bait Reef Reef theme being like a way of preserving the sea life. And the Bjorn and Tribe wanting visitors to find an escapism from the ritual and go see the sea life. Um, so I think there's a real big opportunity here to utilise all of that. So, um, 
big, big thank you guys for watching this video. I know it was a long one, but it was a big discussion video uh, as to what I would put in this land of the Bjorn and Alton Towers to replace Mutiny Bay. Because uh, I think the Mutiny Bay, kind of like Merry England, I think Mutiny Bay has run its course now. I think the whole theme of it has run its course. And I think if you utilise the Wicker Man theme in the family atmosphere, I reckon you could really go for it here. So, thank you very much, guys, for watching this theme park news update, this discussion video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Still get your video suggestions down below for future. I've got them all saved. I've got them all ready to be pre-recorded over the new year. And for now, guys, my name is Coast Shell. Keep living the coast life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a wicker-tastic day.